road back to title contention and a heavyweight championship opportunity for this man, but he has put in all the right work, and a lot of people give him a great chance to get the job done tonight. You know, when you've been there and you get back here, it's not new. There are a lot of things that are familiar, but how do you change the result? How do you assure that in this time, during this chance, you ultimately walk away with the championship? He's been here before, John. The team's been here before. They are confident that this time they get it done. And that self-belief is rooted in the preparation, right? He's got speed, he's got power, all the tools to wrest the belt away. We'll see if we have a new martial artist of all time, the great Bruce Lee, making his walk to the octagon here tonight, Jim. Everybody wants to be Bruce Lee. They say they want to be like Mike. If you're a fighter, you want it to be like Bruce Lee. You want it to be that fast. You want it to be that charismatic. You want it to have an ability to just freeze your opponents. Your speed, your movement, just the diversity in the attacks that you can give your opponents would just confuse people. I mean, I watched him beat a seven-foot to stay undefeated. Right. If you could do that, you could do anything. I fear not the man who has practiced 10,000 kicks once. I fear the man who has practiced one kick 10,000 times. Unbelievably. Just so wise. Our tale of the tape for this heavyweight championship fight. All right, here now, the veteran voice of the octagon, Bruce Buff. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. It's time! Five rounds for the undisputed USC Heavyweight Championship of the World. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. Presenting the Challenger Assassin. And now, introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner. Presenting the reigning, defending, undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world, Bruce the Dragon. Herb Dean, third man in the octagon tonight. All right, so here we are, Newark, New Jersey, the Prudential Center. You know, some people call this the armpit of America. I'm having a good time. I don't know. It's a beautiful place in a beautiful arena, and the fans here are ready to explode the moment something exciting happens. Throws a big right hand, but doesn't find its home. Drives the shit into the ribs. Great body. Nice combination there. He is just killing him with volume two. Jab, right hand, body shot, I mean kicks. What a masterful show of different techniques and ability to throw a combination. Well, DC, they say styles make fights. We haven't had much of a fight here through the first minute. Has it been to this point? I mean, I don't have much to say, and I always got something to say. Come on, buddy, keep your hands up. Let's go. Whiffs on the straight right hand. And he caught the kick. Oh, beautiful strike there as he lands up top, and he does so right after catching the leg. So maybe you thought he would catch the leg and go for a takedown. Instead, he goes for the punch, and he certainly found the range on that one. He checked that last one. Back and forth we go. Well, he's got a pretty good sidekick, and you saw it right there. He did it great, and it pushed his opponent back. Notice how it creates space and allows him to get back to where he's comfortable. Nice jab. Leg kick is true. Oh, big damaging knees here to the body. Under two minutes now to go in round one. 
tags him with the straight. Nice job there by Lee. And there's a takedown attempt. All right, so a good series of kicks by him there. He has mixed it up beautifully, I think, on the feet tonight. He is kicking everywhere tonight. He's doing a fantastic job. Oh, the leg kick lands. I'm spamming leg kicks if I'm playing oh. the game. Oh, leg kick. Stats in that department starting to pile up. Under a minute now to go on the round. Huge connection by him there. He needs to get on his bicycle, John. He needs to get into space so that he doesn't get finished. Push kick there to the body. Tries to take out the leg. Beautiful leg kick land. Oh, he's got to keep pressing here. What a round. All right, sit down. Take a breath and slow it up. All right, here we go. Everything we're doing is working. Those punch kick combinations. All right, a lot of high level highlights from that last round, DC. Take us through the replay. If he fought like this, I would be comfortable entering him into a K-1 level right. kickboxing competition. He's that good at finding and landing those kicks at will. He needs to continue to do this as the fight goes on. You ready to fight? Ready. Here we are, early round two. All right, next round is now underway. I thought there was pretty good back and forth action in the previous round. Yes, it wasn't a far fight. It wasn't two guys throwing the kitchen sink at each other. But you did see times when it came together and you saw the skill level of these two fighters. Man, how good is this? Back and forth we go. Beautiful jab lands. Lee's thigh really starting to show serious signs of bruising here. Big strike lands. Big strike lands. Now he was trying to chase down that finish. Oh. He went high on that one. So pretty good recovery by the opponent after getting stunned pretty good. Gotta capitalize on those opportunities. I mean, you can't waste these opportunities. You don't get them as often. Oh. What a fight. Both of these guys are trying to finish. Oh, made good use of his size there as he lands the flush knee. Ooh, let me get up and go. And those knees aren't just for effect, those are doing real damage. Oh, man! He's got him hurt here. Big right hand lands! Oh, big knee to the body. Nice leg kick. Beautiful combination! Strikes. He talked to us a lot about pace and pressure, and he has certainly kept up his end of the bargain. I mean, the cardio is fantastic tonight. He is pushing at a level that we have not seen him fight before. This is shades of Colby Covington, Max Holloway, those guys that can fight all night. He is showing you that he has done the work in the training room, and it's on full display tonight. Lands a good series of kicks here. Lands that beautiful jab. All right, so a seminal blow earlier in the round. It wasn't a knockdown, but it was certainly a stunner that caught his attention. Oh, I mean, he got hurt bad. To see him still standing, that just goes to the toughness that he has to be still standing after taking such a damaging shot. Well, he was a little bit lackluster in round one. You can't say the same here in this second round. He has really picked up the pace, an uptick in the aggression and the output, and starting to find his range here in the pocket. Both fighters hanging down in the pocket and both landing. What a round. All right, let's punch into that clinch this way. Right? He has no answer for your clinch. He's not defending the right way. He's open for those knees, those elbows. 
all of that is working great. All right, a lot of high-level striking action in that last round. Daniel, take us through it, if you will. Tit for tat. Who has the best chin? It seemed as though they were looking for that answer. Both guys took risk. What a fantastic round. You ready? You ready? Do it. Here we go, third round of this championship fight. Well, most fighters can't keep up this type of aggression and pace, but you don't have to worry about this guy. He hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down tonight. Changes his stance. You'll see a lot of this from this fighter. Fighters separate. Oh, and he lands yet another flush knee. That's gonna leave a mark. And again, when you're using this length as effectively as he is here tonight, we might get a finish here in the not-too-distant future. There's his jab. His opponent's chin held up. His opponent's chin held up, but you do not want to be on the receiving end of those types of strikes. Nice defense. He got his hands up and he blocked it. Lands a big elbow there. Oh, right hand. Just missing on that uppercut offering. Oh, you gotta like the output here. So aggressive with the strikes, he continues to light him up. Gotta be careful here not to gas out, of course, but you gotta like the offense we're seeing from him, especially in this round. So we have crossed the midpoint in this one. Beautiful setup to the leg kick. Right on the button. Oh, nice. Nice. And that spinning kick found its home up top. Straight punch there again. Been there all night. He's found his range. Now he's in a rhythm landing those nice, beautiful punches. Stuffs that takedown attempt without issue. Well, the calf kicks all the rage, but he's not discriminating, attacking the thigh pretty effectively. Yeah, we have seen that time and time again. Start a mixed martial arts, people throw leg kicks. Right now, you can see him digging his shin into this guy's thigh. Beautiful job staying at range and dictating the fight, landing punches like that. Targeting the body with the kick now. 20 seconds to go. Strike right there. I'm not sure how many more of these his opponent can take. Massive shot that he landed. Great job. Oh. All right, three rounds down, potentially two more to go. We are headed to the championship right. round. You're looking great. You're winning this fight everywhere. This round, I want you to go out there and I want you to take him down and put him on his back. Control the fight on the ground. All right, let's check out some of the action now from that previous round. And he really kept finding a home for those kicks. Yeah, and why would you change it? If your opponent is not going to check, if he's going to stand there and he's not on his toes and he's stationary, you keep driving those kicks into his thighs, into his body, until he makes some sort of adjustment. You ready to fight? Ready. Go. We have arrived at the fourth round fight schedule for five five-minute rounds. So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are going to take their toll as this fight goes on. Well, he's been good tonight, but he missed with that one. Now you're really starting to see the damage on that thigh. Maybe check a kick, protect that leg a little bit. He's got to check a kick in return. You've got to make him pay for throwing these leg kicks. They can't be free. You can't just get your leg beat up. Right now we're starting to see how much damage he's inflicted on his opponent. 
you buy the ticket to see fights like this. What a fight. Oh, what a connection by him there. His opponent could be out of here soon, DC. He's almost done. I mean, when you get hit with a shot like that, you don't know whether to run, hide, grab, or wrestle. He's a, he, I mean, he's confused. He's as confused as he was on his first test in elementary school. Oh, nice body shot. Under three minutes to go in round four. Oh, inside kick. Oh! Oh! oh, lands another beautiful strike to the body, really starting to connect at will when it comes to work in the body, and especially effective doing it later in this fight. Didn't see a lot of that from him in the earlier rounds. Side kick. Boys are standing right in front of each other, just kind of going at it. Oh, pinpoint knee to the body. If you're trying to knock me out, you can run knee to the body. Every time an opponent tries to get close, he just drives that knee to the body. Great time. Cardio looks great. He's still bouncing. He's still moving. He's still real confident. He's trying to set a trap here before he can engage and really spring in there with a couple big strikes. Nice right hand by the champ, yeah. Under a minute to go in round four. Now his opponent in a world of trouble. Such a sneaky head kick. He did not recognize it was coming high, and now he's got him hurt bad. Nose there, he is bleeding. Oh, and there's the buzzer indicating the end of round four. All right, so there's the end of the round. You see the blood trickling down as he makes his way back to the stool. Cut on the bridge of the nose, or so it appears from the strike in that round. Cut man getting right to work. All right, let's now look back at some of the action from that round. He went head hunting, landed, nearly got the finish too. A lot of coaches tell you don't head hunt. In this case, he's been headhunting, and he landed a big enough shot to truly put his opponent on notice. You ready to fight? Ready. Good. Fifth and final round, fourth cover. So a nice straight punch there after he caught the leg. He decides to punch out as opposed to going for any takedown. Lee's shot is blocked. Well, I think I can smell the blood at this point in time. That canvas didn't look like that a few fights ago. Blood is flowing from that cut with every passing strike. Every strike. And it burns. John, it burns so bad. When you get cut like that, every time a shot lands, it just burns. So this guy needs to try to find a way to not take and limit the damage he's taking to this cut. Easier said than done, though. Oh! debilitating strike to the body and he continues to punish his opponent's midsection had a lot of success with it in the previous round and picking up exactly where he left off well it's been a wild fight thus far perhaps a contender for some bonus money at fight's end these guys are going to have to dig deep they're both hurt they're both hurt you expected it you expected a close fight you did not expect a war like this though where both oh! with the strikes here off his back. Lee getting absolutely worked here from the top. These are some very effective ground and pound strikes. Oh, nicely done there as he escapes back to his feet. He's gotta either go southpaw or he has to actually 
just try to throw the whole kitchen sink at him. Nice block. Good jab there by the champion. Well, I am not going out on a limb when I say he is on the wrong side of this fight. Maybe a little bit wrong. Oh, Slip the left there. Taking a lot of body shots as long. Fifteen seconds. So a competitive title fight tonight, Daniel, as many expected. 25 minutes, not enough to determine a winner. Slight lean to the champion or what? I do believe he's still champion. But that's why he's the champion. Because when the challenges are the biggest, he usually will step up. All right, the official decision is now in. Here is Bruce Buff. Ladies and gentlemen, after five rounds, we go to the judges' scorecards for a decision. All three judges score the contest 50-45. For the winner, by unanimous decision, and still the undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world, Bruce the Dragon. So the legend Bruce Lee does it again. That was a prime performance out of the martial arts legend tonight. This man, of course, has had no shortage of challengers since coming to the UFC. And more often than not, he has had an answer 